guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, yeah, we're going to talk through some John Deere rate controller stuff here today. A lot of guys are running John Deere liquid rate controllers on maybe planters, uh, applicators. This back here is a J&M applicator. I want to run through some setups here on the screen. So we're going to turn it around and show you guys how to set up some liquid rate controllers. So here's your main run screen. We're going to go to the setup page. I've got it selected as a liquid fertilizer tool. I named it. Here's our width, 40, and then each section width, because there's three sections. So this one does have a height switch. So those are pretty standard. From there, we go into the control valve type. This one is a PWM close, meaning that we're controlling the hydraulic flow to the pump, and that when we stop, it is the pump or the PWM, I should say, that's going to stop the flow. Tank capacity, flow meter calibration, that is read on the flow meter itself, and the tag on the back side, here's a big kicker, reads per 10 gallons. So once we've got that set up, we're ready to calibrate our PWM. So here's a good control valve calibration. Um, that number can fluctuate a lot, but I've learned the hard way it does have to be a four-digit number. So from there, we can calibrate our high and low PWM limits. So basically, what we're going to do is with our pump on, pump is engaged, but nothing's running because the PWM has not been told to allow flow to the pump yet. So we are going to start with the pump on and product in the tank, press and hold on the plus until we see flow and there's flow right there. So we're getting ready to set the low limit. So we want this flow to be really low. If you look, I'm gonna keep cranking on this down button until that gauge is really low because we're setting the low side of our PWM. So right there at two PSI, two gallon, Per minute there's our low limit of running now let's set the high side we're gonna keep hitting this button until we're I don't know 60 psi probably and basically what this is doing and is this is giving the PWM the parameters within which it can work so again set the high limit now we're done now our PWM valve knows the window that it is allowed to run in. So we've got that set. There's our three section. <clears throat> There's our tank, 1600 gallon. Our master is down here on the floor with a foot pedal, target rate of 60. And uh, we're almost ready to go. Um, we've got our rates right here set up. Now, from here, what I like to have you guys do is go into Diagnostics, do a nozzle flow check, put in a test speed and your target rate, and click go. Now, I'm doing all of this with the pump engaged. The pump has been engaged the whole time, but only running when told. So now we look, we're spitting product. So basically what we're doing is we're pretending like we're in the field. This applicator is applying 60 gallon an acre at six miles an hour right now. And our PSI is perfect, 30. Red balls are floating, red balls are even. We're good to go. And uh, from here, the only test that I would maybe consider doing is a, uh, a section test. That's a good one. Um, so basically, you can shut off. I'll shut off the outside too. Look. Let's see. So we gotta open up the control valve. So only the center should be running. Only the center is running. So our section valves check out. I turn this one on, it runs. Turn this one on, it runs. So there's a lot of good tests in here that we can play with. And uh, now you are ready to go to the field and apply with your app. 